right, guys, well, it is getting closer and closer to the opener here just outside of Cody. Um, archery season for, for deer and elk opens in an area here September 1, which is just next week. So I'm pretty stoked it's coming up. My boy's got some mountain bike races coming up in Montana, so I'm not gonna have time to to do much hunting, but I gotta get the llamas ready, get the boys ready to go. Super excited. This is gonna be our first year with llamas. And uh, man, I tell ya, just taking them in the back country the little bit that I've done <clears throat> this year with some friends and family. Uh, it's been a blast. I can't believe how easy these things are to work with. Um, they just take a little little time and little effort. Uh, not much more than that. A little love. Um, that's something that I noticed. They need, they need to know that you care about them. Um, and once they figure that out, boy, the world opens up. So it's pretty cool, pretty exciting. Um, today is Saturday getting toward the end of August here and we are heading up to a spot right outside of town and the boys are going to get saddled up for probably the fourth or fifth time this year. Um, this will only be about the third time they've been carrying weight so we'll have the pinniers on them um, just to give them a little bit of weight, a little bit of something to get up the hill and getting them stretched out and ready for the weeks to come so I will touch base with you when we're at the trailhead here we're heading out of town I'm gonna flip the camera maybe and we'll uh, give you a little shot of what it looks like heading out of town <clears throat> looking good beautiful day mountains are looking good heading out of Cody toward the Buffalo Bill Dam, uh, North Fork area. Rained on me a little bit this morning heading out of town, got some gas and we're cruising out. So I will let you just look at the scenery here for a few seconds and then we'll catch you back at the, at the trailhead when we get there. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's in the 60s right now, sunny clouds moved off. Uh, I think it's going to be a great great day to just go for a, a good hike. Put in 10 miles or so today. Stretch those llama legs. Alright guys, we'll see you soon. Enjoy. the trailhead um, I got myself packed up the llamas packed up and we're uh, pretty much ready to go uh, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys I said I'd get back with you at the trailhead so we are here the boys are ready let's see that's Packer 
the black one and the white headed one is Martin. And then we got our buddy, Old Red. Old Red here. They're all ready to go. So we'll, uh, we'll get rolling here, get them all strung up and head out. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as we're about halfway up the, the hill there. Up the trail we go. Amazing country. I'm breathing like crazy. And we're going up through that cut there. Llamas are doing great. Loving it. Guys, tell me this isn't beautiful. Most beautiful country, man. And down to the boys. Say, what up? What up, boys? Gotta love it. All right, guys. Well, we had some problems. No major, but enough that we're heading back. We probably made... I don't know, two miles maybe, somewhere around there. And this is the whole reason why we're out here, but these llamas are out of shape. Uh, we came across a, a horse and uh, we had to veer off trail. This is a real skinny trail as, as you can see in super steep country. And so, just getting off trail and circling back. That was a little bit of work. And this is, this trail is super steep. So um, I'm glad I'm out here. The llamas needed a few more times before season opener. And that's just in a couple weeks. And like I said earlier, my boys got some uh, mountain bike races coming up, kind of back to back weekends. So that's gonna make things hard, but we're gonna try to get out maybe after work a couple nights here and there and see what we can do to get these boys going the back two are green and so not only are they out of shape but they're learning all this and they're doing great uh, but they definitely have work to do you know whoa practice makes perfect so at any rate we're heading downhill they're much happier going downhill which is good and we'll be heading back to the truck. It'll take us a little bit, but uh, you can see the country behind me. Beautiful country, just steep and rugged. And this is not where we're gonna hunt for elk season, but it is very similar to the trail that I'll be on over in the Bighorn. So um, I thought it'd be a great, great opportunity for them to kind of get going up here, going up these real narrow draws. Uh, deep canyons with creek running down in the bottom steep they don't like it because they can't see around them very well and they're very inquisitive animals and so every time I come into a canyon like this with these guys they get real nervous because they can't see and when I'm out in the flats and or in a meadow or you know a park area they're fine they can walk all over the place and not have a problem because they can see for miles, but you get in this stuff, they get a little skittish. So this is good practice. Good practice for them, good practice for me. Um, I had one of them lay down right in the middle of the trail. That took me a little bit to get his butt up. Red back there, the middle one. He hasn't been worked much and he's a little bony. He needs some nourishment and exercise, but we'll get him there. All right. We will maybe see you back at the truck. How's that? All right, see you guys. All right, everybody, we are home. I got the boys all staked out in the pasture there, just chilling. Thought I'd give them a little fresh green grass after their little hike. But we made it home safe and sound. Still a beautiful day. More conditioning to do for those boys but we'll keep we'll keep at it 
I think me and Levi, my son, are going to go out tomorrow and we'll take them for another hike just to see what we can do for them. Stretch them out and get them, get them in shape here for the next few weeks. All right, maybe we'll see you guys. Okay, see ya.